They're treating her like a common criminal. It was hard for loved ones to watch as 75-year-old Cynthia Latson walked into Judge Daryl Manning's courtroom Friday afternoon. It's horrible. It's the worst because, like I said, I'm worried that she could have a heart attack. She could have a stroke. You know, I, I just don't know the condition she's in. Troubled and teary-eyed, she sat with her head down, confused as to how her love for pets got her arrested and jailed. It's very unfair. I feel like um, they need to adjust their policies and procedures when it comes to the elderly. According to attorneys for the county, this all started a few years back when neighbors complained about the cats and dogs at Latson's home. Animal Services decided to let her keep the pets, provided she met certain conditions for care. The matter escalated when she did not keep up, and it became criminal when she missed a couple of hearings and was charged with contempt of court. One time she got lost driving here. Um, another time she got here, but she was late, and the deputy even let the judge know. A situation like this shouldn't necessarily lead to these circumstances. She obviously needs to keep in line with the agreement that she made with the city in the first place, but at the same time, we feel that there might be more appropriate ways to go about sort of handling the situation. Judge Manning agreed. Based on your uh, attorney's request, so I'm, I'm releasing you. The news was met with great joy. Mrs. Latson is a good woman. She doesn't have any malintent. She's not looking to try and take advantage of any circumstances. She's an older ailing woman who finds solace in helping animals. She's still probably traumatized from yeah. everything that she's already been through right before Mother's Day as well. She's going to be released from jail tonight and she's scheduled to be back in court next month. Her attorney believes that they can resolve the matter before that next court hearing. Absolutely.